You was out saying brother? <laughs> Are you hey, what does that mean? Brother? Read that. Okay. Well, pick us bro, up. So chapter 19 and verse 29. Come on, come on, come on. A man may be known by his look. Hey, what? A man may be known by his look. You said you can't judge a man by his look. Read. Read it again. This is the Bible. This is what we're trying to show you. Brother, hold on, listen. You don't know what you're talking about. You gotta humble down and admit that. Once you admit that, then you can grow. You trying to solve a problem that you don't know the answer to. If you knew the answer, you would be out here teaching. Right. You would have bridges on. Right. You would have brothers following you. Right. We do this all over the world. But our people don't want to humble down. It's obvious we know the Bible and you don't. That's obvious. Anybody can see that. What's the importance of keeping the commandments? J Revelation 14, 12, yeah. You know you know the importance of keeping the commandments? Because I hear you talk about wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which all that is great. But the first step to even get wisdom, you know what you got to do to get wisdom, according to the Bible? Huh? What exactly you have to do? Good. Give me, give me Psalms 111 and 10 first. I'm going to show you what you got to do to even get the wisdom. So the first step before you get the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, there's something you got to do. You understand? Yeah. Listen good. This is what's up. This book of Psalms, chapter 111, verse 10. Uh -huh. The fear of the Lord uh -huh. is the beginning of wisdom. So, the fear of the Lord is the what? The beginning of wisdom. The key word was what? Is the what? The beginning. So, the start. So, if you ain't keeping the commandments, you ain't even started with your relationship with God yet. You understand what I'm saying? Whatever it is that you think you're doing with the Most High, he says, the beginning is when you fear him, which means you keep his commandments. Read. So when you say the, that, right, what are you insinuating exactly by you saying that? Because I listen to what people say. No, you listen. Good. So when you saying what you saying, right? Mm -hmm. Where is it stemming from? Good. Listen. No, I'm saying exactly what you. I know. I want. I want. I'm getting the Bible. Listen good. You know I mean? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Uh -huh. A good understanding. A what? A good understanding. Read. Have all day that do. That what? That do. Uh -huh. His commandments. So, a good understanding come from those that do His commandments. Give me Isaiah 58 and 2, or 59 and 2. I want uh, your sins to separate me from you. So, what I was saying was, we may try to find God according to our own will, our own mind, right? But if it's not in line with the Bible, we're deceived. Listen good. The book of Isaiah, chapter 59 and verse 2. Bring it out. But your iniquity. But what? Your iniquity. Y'all know what iniquity is? You know what iniquity is, young man? Iniquity? You know what iniquity is? Listen, value. Your what? Value. Give me Psalms 38 and 18. I'm going to show you what iniquity is. It says, but your iniquity, Psalms 38, 18, read. So he finna show you what iniquity is in the Bible. Because we must go precept upon precept. Book of Psalms, chapter 38 and verse 18. Bring it out. For I will declare mine iniquity. Uh -huh. I will be sorry for my sin. I will what? Be sorry for my sin. So so what's iniquity? What's iniquity to that? You paid attention? Was y'all paying attention? Y'all talking. Let's read it again. For I declare my iniquity. I will declare my iniquity. I will be sorry for my sin. What's iniquity? Basically, it's like repentance. Basically, it's like you you, call, you confessing yourself. Right, but iniquity is what? If I would declare my iniquity, and then he says, I will be sorry for my sin. Iniquity and sin is the same word. They interchange. Right. You understand that? Now, go back to Isaiah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 59 and verse 2. Uh -huh. But your iniquity, but your sins, but your sins, read, have separated you. Have what? Have separated between you and your God. So, when you in the midst of sin, you are separated from your God. You understand that, brother? Read it again. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. And your sins have hid his face from you. That he will not hear. Hold on, read it again. And your sins have hid his face from you. Uh-huh. That he will not hear. Now, the reason why I'm going over this is because he was going over it before. I don't want you to leave here not understanding the importance of keeping the commandments. Matthew 12 and 31. If we're not keeping the commandments, we don't have that straight line to God. We don't have that relationship with God that we desire and that God has open to us. You understand what I'm saying? I'll give you an example. 
Me and the brother was just talking about credit. We got a good line of credit with the Most High, right? But you know how you make your credit bad with God? You know how you get denied every time you try to get something from the store with God? You having bad credit with God? Every time you sin, your credit score go down. That's right. Every time. But guess what? When you keeping the commandments, all right, cool. He can hear you. He can understand you. He working with you. Listen good. The book of Matthew, chapter 12 and verse 31. Uh -huh. Wherefore, I say unto you, uh -huh. all manner of sin, all manner of sin, and blasphemy, and blasphemy, shall be forgiven. Hold on, shall what? Shall be forgiven uh -huh. unto men. Read. But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost uh -huh. shall not be forgiven unto men. So what I want you to get from that is. All men of sin, no matter what you did, you could have killed somebody, robbed somebody, committed adultery, fornication, all of that. God says, through the blood of Christ, all sin is forgiven unto you. But now, from this point forward, guess what you got to do? You got to keep the commandments. So, to be able to, because we all brothers in Christ, yeah. right? We all equal. Right. That's why I ask you. But we ain't all equal. We ain't all equal. Proverbs 12 and 26. Okay, well, but, read that chapter in Romans for me, though? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just want to make sure you know, know the Bible. Proverbs 12 and 26. I want the righteous more excellent than this thing, but that's what I want. Yep, let it. All right. The book of Proverbs, chapter 12 and verse 26. Uh -huh. The righteous, the, the righteous uh -huh. is more excellent than his neighbor. AJ, you remember what I just read? What'd that mean? Righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, meaning righteous in Christ is There you go. There you go. So everybody ain't on the same level. Understand it. That's, that, that's the only reason why I went there. Now, what verse you want us to read? And before we read it, what, why are we going there? Romans what? You're saying Romans. Romans chapter 14. Uh-huh. You can start from verse 1 going all the way. Really, you can read through. Going through the verse, going through. Well, Romans 14. I'm going to walk there. What point you, what point are you trying to make? Because Romans 14 is going into sacrifice. The beginning of the chapter. So look. Found it yet? What you, what, that's what I said. What, tell me what you're looking for. We may be able to find it. What you want, Romans 14 and 15? All right, read that. Book of Romans, oh, oh, it's chapter 15. You think what you want in chapter 15? Okay, but before we get that, listen good. Give me first John, give me first John chapter two and verse four. Hey, this your friend? They're all y'all brothers. You how old you is? You 17, you still in high school? You graduated, so you smart then. How old you is? 24, okay. So you rolling with your brother. So you already graduated, you already graduated. So what, what are y'all trying to do right now? What are y'all trying to do with y'all life? Trying to get a job, trying to get a trade, trying to get married. What y'all trying to do? Y'all young men. Okay, to do what? Okay, like what? Let me, let me hear your plan. And give me something for 19. Real estate? Okay, what you trying to do with your life? Okay, you gonna go to the army. Okay, good, good, good. Now listen good, all of those things are great. Y'all young men, y'all gotta do something. Cause guess what? This whole world is designed to destroy you. The, the, our enemies, they want you either dead or in prison. Y'all understand what I'm saying? And the reason, that's why they set up, that's why they call it, what do they call where we live at? They call it the trap, right? They call it the trap where we live at, they call it a project. Why? They call it trenches as well, right? You, have, you know where you have trenches at? You have trenches in warfare. So where we live at is a war zone. Yeah, listen good. But listen what God says. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 9. Uh -huh. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? So, what we going over and while we out here teaching, God is giving you the solution for y'all to change your ways. Listen good. Read it again. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? So God is saying, how can you young men cleanse your ways? How can you change your life? So you can be a positive member of community. Read. By taking heed therefore, thereto, according to thy word. By doing what? By taking heed thereto, according to thy word. By taking heed to the word.
Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. You perfect, brother. You perfect, though. You perfect, brother. Give me, uh, give me that one. Give me that one right there. Give me that one. You got that slot? Hey, listen good. He made a statement. He made a statement. You saying, brother? No. You without saying, brother? Listen good. You was out saying, brother? <laughs> Are you without saying, brother? What does that mean? Read that. Okay, the book of Sirach, so chapter okay, 19, so at verse 29. Come on, come on. A man may be known by his look. A hey, what? A man may be known by his look. You said you can't judge a man by his look. Read, read it again. This is the Bible. This is what we're trying to show you. Brother, hold on, listen. You don't know what you're talking about. You got to humble down and admit that. Once you admit that, then you can grow. You trying to solve a problem that you don't know the answer to. If you knew the answer, you would be out here teaching. Right. You would have bridges on. Right. You would have brothers following you. Right. We do this all over the world, but our people don't want to humble down. It's obvious we know the Bible and you don't. That's obvious. Anybody can see that, but you don't want to admit that. Listen good. A man may be known by his look. God said you can judge a man by the way he looks. If I see a man walking around with a dress, God says that's a homosexual. Okay, if I see a, hold on, listen, hold on, listen, 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 listen. Read. A man may be known by his look. Read. And one that have understanding. And what? One that have understanding. We can tell if a man has understanding. Read. By his countenance. By your face, how you handle yourself. I'm not going to be feminine trying to find answers other places. I'm going to be able to stand and reason with my brother, not out of hatred, but because I love you. Read. When thou meetest him. When thou what? When thou meetest him. Read. A man's attire. A man's what? Attire. The way you dress. You don't have fringes on, which means what? You don't know you're supposed to wear fringes. Right. But that's a commandment that God gave us. But you don't know that. Why? Because you haven't been taught. That's why we are here teaching you. Read. A man's attire. A man's clothing. And his excessive laughter. And his excessive laughter. And gait. The way he walks. So God says you can judge people according to the appearance. Do you understand that? Yeah. Now give me Ecclesiastes chapter 5. 45, huh? Keep reading. And gait. So what he is. It does what? So what he is. So you can judge a man by his look. Now give me Ecclesiastes 5 and 1 first. And then we're going to get down to rough because you've been talking a lot. You want to learn. I can tell you got a zeal, but not according to the knowledge of right, God. That's right. You don't know God according to the Bible. Right. You know God according to what the white man sees the boy she had taught us. Right. Listen good. So Watch what, so hold on, okay, I'm going to show you. Saying that, how would you, what would make you think that? Your understanding. Does God love everybody? Yes, he loves everybody. You see that? Now give me Romans 9 and 13. Well, I mean, he loves oh, no, 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 Okay, so so if uh, somebody outside the nation of Israel keeps the commandments, God loves him? Yeah. You say yes. Okay, let's see what I God mean, says. The book of I Romans, mean, chapter 9 and verse 13. Well, let me ask you this. Does God love one nation over any other nation? Or are all of them the same? It's a basic question. The Israelites have chosen people. All right, good. Now read, read Romans 9 and 13. The book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13. Is Romans in the Old Testament or New Testament? Romans is in the The New, right? That's the New Testament. Listen what God says in the New Testament. Read. As it is written. As it is written. Jacob have I loved. Jacob have I loved. But Esau have I hated. Hold on, hold on. God love everybody. But what? But Esau have I hated. Simple things like that yeah. can show us your level of understanding. That's what we're showing you. But I, re it, I reiterated and recorrected myself. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Like, so, what was I going on? Oh, Ecclesiastes 5 1. Listen, this is how you're going to help yourself. Listen good. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. Keep thy foot. What does that mean? Be quiet and be willing to learn when you stand before the prophets. Read. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. Read. And be more ready to hear. Hold on, and be what? Be more ready to hear. Be more ready to what? To hear. Be more ready to hear, read, than to give the sacrifice of fools. Than to give the what? The sacrifice of fools. That's what we're trying to teach you, brother. Listen, the things that you know has been taught to you by your oppressor. That's right. right. 
That's what we're trying to teach you. If you don't know that Jesus Christ is black, he died only for the nation of Israel, and you got to keep the commandments, you don't have the proper understanding of the Bible. I, I know that. You know that. So why are you not that. keeping the laws? How would you say I'm not keeping the laws? No. Exactly. Why don't you wear fringes? Why don't you have on a beard? Why are you not keeping the Sabbath day? Beard? Yeah. You see that? That's a basic commandment. My beard? Yeah. My beard. Okay. Control the way my okay. Good. You eat pork? No, I don't eat pork. You eat shrimp? No, I don't eat shrimp. You don't eat crab? No, I don't eat shrimp. Good. All praises. You celebrate Christmas? No, I don't celebrate Christmas. Mm -hmm. No, it's like oh, a holiday. Oh, you said like that. What would that be? Because like with Christmas, bro, like it's a pagan holiday. The only thing people do on Christmas is gather around and exchange. Good. Like so that. so you know you know it's evil, right? I'm knowing what's going on. Good. Trust. Thanksgiving. But I'm always willing to learn and I'm always Thanksgiving. Going to learn. No holiday. All Thanksgiving. Those pagan holidays. You don't do nothing though. Hey, pagan you, you ain't gonna lie for you, brother. Y'all don't celebrate pagan Thanksgiving. Holiday, I gotta lie for so nobody come over to my saying. house and go eat. That's what I'm saying. You I don't know what's outside of this. House. That's what good, I'm saying. So good. Say I that. do. I so we, we just read that. But I'm saying you don't you don't as far as my actions, you don't see what's going on. I do. You can a man's attire and gait show what he is. But I'm saying you don't see my everyday actions. Right, no, 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 no. You can do what you want at home. Everyday life. You don't know if I'm not like, y'all like y'all look at us and just be, okay, we are going over here to go see us. No. Nobody said that. that. But it's based off. I know, listen, I know you got to, give me uh, Romans 10. Give me Romans 10. I know you got a zeal, but not according to the Bible. Because listen, unlike everybody else out here, at least you, you're willing to come up. So guess what? I get that. I'm saying stuff out of hatred. I'm saying stuff out like a place. Yeah, read that. The, the book of Romans, chapter 10 and verse 2. Listen good, brother. For I bear them record uh -huh. that they have a zeal of God. It's you. You got a zeal of God. Because you're willing to be on a Friday night to come up here and, and converse with us. Right. You got a zeal according to God. Read. But not according to knowledge. But what? Not according to knowledge. But not according to the knowledge of the Bible. Like I said, there's a lot of things you got to learn. You still got to learn how to wear fringes. You gotta learn how to keep the Sabbath. You gotta learn the dietary law. You gotta learn a lot of things. You gotta learn the feast days to keep. Right. Okay, so, so you gotta keep the Sabbath day and no work. Yep. You know, on the Sabbath day, right. it's Saturday, not Sunday. Right. You know what I'm saying? Start Friday night. You right now, we in the Sabbath. So, like, basically, no work, no anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We are supposed to rest and get in our eyes. We're supposed to get in our Bible. You uh huh. Know what I'm and we're supposed to get in our word. Right. You know what I mean? And what else you supposed to do? You hit most of it. What else? I'm missing something else. Yep. You're missing two other parts. You got the other three right. You're supposed to congregate. That's right. You got to be around other like-minded believers. Now, what's the second one? The other one is not buying and selling on the Sabbath. Right. Yeah, like what's if you go into the store on the Sabbath and go buy something, that's a sin. Right. If you eat hot food on the Sabbath, that's a sin. Get right. out. So these are the things that you got holes in your understanding. That's why you need somebody to teach you so you can build yourself up. You understand? You got it? Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 23 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Six days shall work be done, uh -huh. but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. The seventh day, which is Saturday, like you said, is the Sabbath of rest. Read. And holy convocation. Say what? A holy convocation. What's a convocation? It's a gathering. Read the verse again for me. The book of Leviticus, chapter 23 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Six days shall work be done. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest mm -hmm. and holy convocation. Mm -hmm. You shall not do no work. You shall not do any work. You shall do no work uh, therein. Read. It is the Sabbath of the Lord and all your dwellings. So now give me that in numbers. I mean, yeah, uh, Exodus 35 and 3. So it's a holy convocation. A convocation is a gathering, what we call church today, right? Because back then, the whole nation came together. Now we're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, and we got little sanctuaries where we gather. Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 35 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Ye shall kindle no fire. You shall do what? Ye shall kindle no fire. Why would they kindle a fire during that time? To do what? They would kindle a fire to cook. Right. right. Read. You shall kindle no fire uh -huh. throughout your habitations uh -huh. upon the Sabbath day. So he said you can't cook on the Sabbath day. Why? Because on the sixth day, he gave you double portions of manna when we came out. Now today, we prepared the day before. That's why they call it the day of preparation. So you're not to cook on the Sabbath. No, don't go to it. Now, we got to go over it buying and selling. Nehemiah 10 and 31. You got it? Read. Good. Numbers 15 and 30, 38. Good question. What are these things we got on our shirts? 
Let's show you what this is according to the Bible. This is another commandment. Because like you said, we are God's chosen people. And God's chosen people has a separate set of laws that make us better than everybody else on the face of the earth. Right. Listen good. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Well, speak unto the children of Israel. Hold on, speak unto everybody. Unto the children of Israel. You understood that we the Israelites. Well, if you understand that, then you know God gave us laws to keep. Read. And bid them that they make them fringes. Make them what? Fringes. These are fringes. Uh -huh. These are fringes. Read. And the borders of their garments. In the borders of our garments. Throughout their generations. Throughout the generations forever. And that they put upon the fringe. And you put upon the fringe. Of the borders a ribbon of blue. So we do exactly what the Bible says. And guess what? This ain't just on my shirt when I come out here to camp. Right. This is when I go home. Right. This is when I go to work. Right. This is when I go to wherever I'm at, I'm going to have fringes on. And guess right. what? Not just me. My wife got on fringes. Right. My children got on fringes. Right. Why? Because this is a commandment of God. That's but right. But this is what's not being taught throughout the four corners of the earth. Bring it out. Caesar Borgia, this man didn't teach us to keep the commandments. Nope. His understanding said, God love everybody. Jesus Christ died on the cross, and now you're free to do whatever you want. Right. Now we're under grace. We're not under, under the law. That's what that man taught us. And that's what the majority of our people believe in. They don't understand that they got to keep the commandments of God. If they did, why is nobody wearing fringes? Bring it out. Why is the whole city not shut down? Because I guarantee you ask everybody out here if they're Christian, and they'll say they are. Right. Well, why they ain't keeping the Sabbath day? Go out on Sunday, Easter. Easter coming up in a few weeks. Yeah. Right. Go watch how many people is in there on Easter Sunday and, and saying that they worship God. Bring it out. Because what? They've been taught a lie. Isaiah 28. Oh, Isaiah 29 in verse 13. Listen good, AJ. Isaiah 29, 13. This is you. This is you, my brother. And it's not your fault. The whole world has been deceived. Listen good. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 13. Uh -huh. Wherefore, the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, uh -huh. and with their lips do... So our people draw near to God with their mouth and with their lips. They give a lot of lip service. Big speeches. Read. With their lips do honor me, uh -huh. but have removed their heart far from me. Their heart meaning their mind is far from God. Prosperity doctrine is trash. Right. Right. Uh, 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 God said this and he going to give me All that is not according to the scriptures. That is deceit. Read it again. Wherefore, the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips uh, do honor me, read. but have removed their heart far from me, read. and their fear toward me, their fear toward God, read, is taught by the precept of men. It's taught by who? The precept of men. How did we learn about Jesus Christ here in America? How did our people learn about the Bible here in America? Through church, right? Who built the churches here in America? The white man. Right. We got a poster that shows all the modern religions that were made the uh, the AME Church, the Methodist Church, the Baptist Church, the Catholic Church, Seventh Day Adventist Church, right. every single Jehovah Witness, every single church was built by a slave master. What is the nation? Yeah. 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 Nation is men leading by example. 